games. Uh, what was the message like on afterwards? Oh, look, I think when you get a game like that, you know, it's uh, you need to take your chances and then you just concentration, really. I think, um, I said to the lads after, it's, it's, it's never one or the other. I don't want the defender saying, oh, we need to take our chances. And then the attacker saying, oh, we need to keep a clean sheet because we do both. We're together, we're one team. And, you know, for us, we all defend and we all attack. Um, but it's obviously very, very frustrating to, to lose a game like that where you have had, you know, a good grip on the game, especially second half. I felt they were limited to the balls just in behind counter attacks, and you know they've they've managed to nick a goal off one. Um, I thought first half it was back and forth both teams. Um, you know we had some some half chances, just a decision making um, in the final third sort of hit us. But um, yeah, it's just it's it's a rough one when that happens when you have chances you don't take them and then you get caught sort of there at the uh, at the end. So it's uh, it's really frustrating. How do you keep that from boiling over? I mean, we saw and heard frustration from guys that we mm. normally don't hear and mm. see frustration from. That shows you how much the lads care. I think that's the biggest thing. It's and it's really annoying, you know, when you when you do that because I think for all of us we want to win, um, and I think we've we feel as if we've had chances to win it, and then equally we, we've you know we've been caught really with a, a poor goal. I mean, look, it's I think it's ended up deflecting off Paco and, and going in, um, which you know you get nights like that and you start to think, oh. You know, not our night. Is this what you expected from Babylon and Pittsburgh tonight? I was really structured, really organised. They've got good pace. I think um, you know they they came with a, a game plan to um, to try to to press first half and then try to to attack um, with some speed. And they did. They caused us some problems first half. I thought it was as I say back and forth. Um, second half, I felt as if we were we were sort of. The one that was was trying to to push and push and push, and then we've been caught really. Um, as I say, the the goal, you know, the counter should have been stopped further up. Um, then ends up with you know some kind of ricochet and goes into the bottom corner, and then you look at the other end for us that they're, they're getting blocks, and you know somebody's managing to get keep it away for goal. Um, obviously the offside, the the goal that was given for the foul on the keeper. Um, and I, and I felt a lot of the decisions didn't really didn't go for us to be honest with you I think that was another thing it was just you come away scratching your head thinking you know uh, but it happens you know so it's just it's there's no point in um, you know feeling sorry for yourself you need to show some steel and you know pick yourself up and, and get out there and go again Is this one of the toughest times to keep such a narrow focus when things haven't gone they're starting to pile up a little bit uh, No I don't I mean I uh, for me, I don't think so. I don't think Enton's pointing up. I think we're in a great position. I think we're in the quarterfinal of the Open Cup, a strong position in the league. So um, it's all about mentality, you know. And you either approach the uh, you approach life, or you approach the game, and your your glass is either half empty or half full. So you know, I always make sure it's it's um, in the right position, and that you know you, you take things for what they are. I think um, we've had enough chances to to win the game, and on another night you you do win the game. Um, but equally, you need to learn, and you need to make sure that that doesn't that doesn't happen. And I think the the frustrating thing for us is in the last few games we've conceded the late goals where we've had winning positions. We've been two and up, two two, and similar at home, three one up, three three. So um, we've been caught a little bit with that, and we just need to be a little bit smarter collectively um, to make sure that that doesn't that doesn't happen. Is there a common thread that you're seeing in those late goals? Uh, well, they're late. That's yeah. probably about it. <laughs> I mean, um, I think the concentration piece needs to be needs to be a little bit better from from all of us. Um, but then equally, when we get good opportunities, we need to we need to take our chances. You know, we we normally were we've got a pretty good um, ratio of of conversion. So um, you know, it it wasn't to be tonight. Fourth game in eleven days, and obviously the injury front has not been kind to you. Do you feel like mm -hmm. you're just missing a little bit of luck? At times, I think um, I think when when you look at you know credit to the guys, I mean you look at the and you got Flano going down, you've got Oscar going down, you got Kyle going down. So I mean it, the guys are, are giving their absolute all, and I think that's that's what you take great comfort in is the fact that guys are really trying and really giving giving everything they've got, you know. And I think that's that's testament to their character and, and how they're pushing through it because it's it's a run of games, you know, because of the success in the Open Cup. But then equally, it's come where the the humidity just seems to to kick in and kick higher and higher. So um, you know we need to we need to push through it. We need to stick together and we need to um, just narrow our focus a little bit and, and come out um, you know sharper on Saturday. Cameron played tonight. Is he fully recovered? I mean he deserves enormous credit. I mean he's playing with a he's dislocated his shoulder. He's got this brace on his his arm which really limits his movement. So again it's. 
you know, Luke obviously is out with his knee. Um, so it's a case of, you know, strap yourself up and, and get out there, you know. And again, it gives you an indication as to his character and his mindset that he's he's prepared to do that, and, you know, and put himself sort of at risk um, for the team. Um, and Ilya Todd, Ilya at times led the, led the line really well again tonight. He just needed a little bit of a rest, to be honest, because he's had so many games in such a such a short period. But at the moment, we just we, we can't really give him that. So we just need to to push through, you know, get some recovery into us, get get through Saturday's game, and and hopefully get a uh, get a stronger performance where our conversion rate is higher and we we concentrate a little bit more at the back.